here we are. So we might as well do something. Ah, let's play with knives. It's always a good backup plan. How much, how much light do I need in my studio? <laughs> Can you see the blue? Or is it getting washed out? I'm kind of seeing it through here. Of course, this background is like, whew, I don't know. This is a zero tolerance knife. It is new for 2017. It is a collaborative between Dmitry Sinkovich and Todd Regsford, where they did a collaborative knife in 2017. This is uh, the ZT collaborative collaborative with the collaborators. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I, you know, I, I didn't appreciate all the stylistic cues on this knife until I got it. And I thought, and I thought, oh, I can't open the knife. That's what I thought. I thought it's got that six shooter deal. Actually, I was counting dots. One, two, <laughs> there's six of them, trust me. And so you've got this aluminum barrel type thumb stud, which is, um, uh, truly maybe trying to look like a barrel uh, with the same motif getting carried both ways on the pivot and the thumb stud. And then, I mean, I'm like looking down the barrel and on the back side, unless that's the working end, maybe that's the delivery system, but I, you know, it's kind of like you load them in here and they go out one by one here, but I don't know. And it's just, you know, it's a design cue. So I don't know that it's supposed to make a whole lot of actual working sense there. But I mean, really cool backspacer. Like the design, of course, this, this is the Dmitry Sinkovich part. The Rexford may have done the gun stuff. I don't know. And maybe some of the other part. And then you've got this subframe lock here kicking in. And it's 25, 30% lock up. Got a little bit of uh, insert in here to interface with the CPM 20V blade steel, 20CV, I'm sorry, CPM 20CV blade steel, serial number on the blade, 755 on this one. And it's the 850, made in the USA. And it's got that blued carbon fiber look. And you can kind of see that. Studio lights don't help it a lot. Uh, it depends on the lighting conditions, how blued it looks. I think it looks more blued in my Instagram photo. And it will look more blued on my little thumbnail photo on, the, um, on this YouTube thing. Because I took the photo and yeah, it looks more blued there. Cool knife. Fairly light. Blade centered. It's got good detent on there. It takes a little bit to break or loose, you know, to flick, but uh, nice. Looking in there and might be bearings. I see gold. So if we don't have phosphor bronze, we might have bearings. It, it feels very bearing-ish. And let me see what old. Blade HQ said about it because I hadn't read specifics on that. I mean, you can say, here's the model number, blah, 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 satin finish, ZT, um, sheep's foot, flat, satin, plain. <laughs> Just going down, you can read to the left where it's talking about color, blue, way, well, yeah, in there with the carbon fiber, 4.3, so it is lighter than my standard, you know, five and a half to six ounce. Uh, presentations on this channel talk about them uh, based on a, a collaborative piece they did in 2016 so we're out with 2017 aluminum uh, thumb stud um and it's a machine titanium pocket clip uh, i don't think we talked about that uh, bead blasted and no they don't talk about it either on the pivot so, don't know for sure. There's your blade stop up there, stop pin, whatever you want to call it. Looks like this can be removed, and maybe that would be important to do 
if you were sharpening the knife. Uh, depending on the angle, your stone's going to take across there, whether that needs to come off or not. I don't know. Um, yeah, titanium pocket clip. That's nice. I like that machined look. And here, well, I mean, other than patent, whatever, I mean, I'm talking about these machine marks across here on the uh, frame lock. nice i mean i like the overall design it's i know it's not a flipper and that's okay with me i mean you know you can just go flipper crazy and then the whole world is flippers and i don't think it needs to be so this is fine this is fine fairly light though yeah good size knife though I like the design 4.3 and 122 grams so pretty light but pretty good size blade um what'd they say 3.75 and uh well let's check it out so i mean it depends on where you hold your measurement uh some people lay a ruler down at the bottom and there you go four inches now if you go right up to the closest place where the uh, scale interfaces it's more like three and three quarters overall though eight and you're pushing eight and three quarter in there pretty close and you're about 22 centimeters so as far as uh, millimeters on the blade length uh, 95 96 maybe somewhere in there blade stop Blade stock. Let's get in here and see if we can get something. Oh, so it's going to be about 4 millimeter, 0.159. Yeah, 4 millimeter blade stock. That's pretty good. It's pretty heavy. What's the fattest? Eh, almost 13 millimeters, which is half inch. So there you go. Half inch. What is, where's my, uh, where's my mess? I got a mess. I got things all over here. There's my fossil. There's my Mannix. So how does it line up to the Mannix? Things are falling all over the place. Yeah, this is much bigger than the Mannix. Really is. Even pivot to pivot, look at that. Yeah, Mannix is eight and a quarter overall, so. Standard fossil, compact fossil, not the large fossil. So this would be more comparable to the large fossil. So this is a bigger knife than that too. And I mean, you push them forward and Get the butt lined up. Yeah, bigger. Much bigger knife. So it's a good size knife, isn't it? Good size knife. Cool. I've been looking forward to getting this one. Uh, this and then the Les George 920. And I've had the 460 on my channel already. So that's that little small knife that's kind of like the 450 was previous year. Um, and then everybody's going crazy uh, waiting for that 55 to hit, which it is. It's now out and getting into people's hands. This is uh, 4th of July. 2017. So it's, it's getting into people's hands. Uh, very nice uh, looking, interesting, very angular look. To me, I think I prefer this and I prefer the 920. I, I don't know. I'll, I'm going to get the 55 in my hands. I'll be interested to see how I react to that because I'm not sure. I'm not sure overall that that's going to be my, uh, yeah, my deal. Uh, maybe not. This has got, you know, a nice satin grind to it, though. It's got good blade steel. I wonder if it will cut paper. I wonder if I am capable of cutting paper. Because you know how I am about cutting paper. Oh, wow. So, okay. Well, you may have to pay some money for this knife. Come on, get off of there. But at least you get a sharp blade.
And so many times on this channel, we have failed to cut paper well with a blade. Not that they can't sharpen back up, but it's always kind of nice when they come that way. It's like, thank you for actually putting an edge on it before I got it for my 200 and whatever dollars that they're charging. What was it? Oh, never mind. $320 that they're charging for it. Okay, so they want some money for this dog. How much does that carbon fiber cost to me? Eh, you got some really good steel in here. And you got some, it's a good size knife. So this is, a, you know, I'm used to paying like in the two plus area, but not so much in the three plus area for a ZT. So yeah, this is, uh, they're proud of this one. Yes, they are, but it's fairly light. It's big. It, the action's really good on this knife. Like the design cues. See, I like this bad boy stuff. See, I like the six shooter stuff. You know, I do. I like that. And you know, the fit and finish is great. You got a little bit of jimping up here and it's, yeah, it's reasonably uh, tactile. So yeah, you can get into that. Can you bring this much? Not much. Not much there to help you with that, but like that. Reverse grip, how's that working for you? Yeah, I like it. Uh, no real hot spots with that pocket clip. That's not gonna, that's not gonna really bother me. Nah, nah. Feels good in the hand. Really does. What do you think? Put your comments below. Some of you guys got these, right? What's your experience been with them? Some of you guys have probably had these longer than I have, although they haven't been in people's hands for very long right now. So you might have had a few weeks jump on me, but not much more than that. Yeah. Well, at least you can go ambidextrous there. Too bad you can't do it with a pocket clip. Negatory on that. Right hand tip up only. But, I mean, being a right-hander that likes right hand tip up, I just as soon not have all these other placement holes. I know that's really horrible, isn't it? Because if you're a lefty or if you like tip down, you know, it's not working for you. But uh, it, it makes it a little cleaner look when, when you're limiting to that, to that option. And they do it so often. I mean, it's just crazy. It's like, I guess left-hand people just don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't count somehow it's really strange but you know there's all those rat knives and different types of really hard use knives that are out on the market where they do give you all those different carry options and that really is uh nice so you got to be a little bit more selective when you're a lefty uh or you just adapt and i think that's kind of my son's left-handed so how he plays guitar left-handed, I don't know. It's just too crazy. But in any case, it's, it's a different world for them. I like this world right here. This is cool. This blue carbon fiber, this design, really good knife, pretty light, but pretty big, very sharp, nice out of the box. Do you get a pouch and all kinds of stickers and no. Microfiber bag, claw, no, no you don't, no you don't, but you get a good knife, maybe that's enough, I'd like to see him kind of kick the game up, I know ZT makes pouches, I had one or two in my drawer until I gave them away to people, but I mean they do make zipper pouches with their logo on them, so maybe they could start kind of tucking one in there, be kind of nice. Microfiber cloth, not a lot of money for 320. Come on. You can always ask. They can always say no. But we do. We love them knives. I do really like this one though. All joking aside, this is this is a really good one. And that Les George one. So far, two really, really the small 460 is really a cool knife. If 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 I wanted a small light carry, that would be it. Uh, I like it better than the 450, uh, only because of the design cues on it and stuff. 
but the the 55 i'm really i don't know i'm I, i'm really looking forward to get my hands on it because I, I don't know how i'm going to feel about it but we'll find out because we love them knives and you guys subscribe stay vigilant and stay sharp